earlier this week I uh, purchased a nucleus hive or a nuke is what they call it and um, what that is is uh, basically a miniature colony that has everything it has a working queen who's laying eggs it has brood it has honey uh, it has an adequate number of uh, worker bees that are doing what they need to do so when I went to put it in this hive um, something happened whether it was that I rolled the queen, which is I pinched the queen when I pulled one of the frames out, or if she dropped out and got squashed, but I killed the queen. And um, so what I need to do is that we decided to let the, let the bees see if they'll make their own queen. So that's been three days now. It was warmed up pretty nice. And so I'm gonna get in this hive and uh, see what I see. What I'm gonna be looking for are queen cups. That's where uh, this colony will be making their own queen. <laughs> and I think by nature uh, a colony can start making a queen bee after an egg has been laid for three days um, that's when the egg hatches and what they'll do is they'll select that one particular egg start feeding it only royal jelly and make it a larger cup for it to be in and they'll grow a queen so we're gonna see if we see that I'm gonna be um, counting for queen cells and then looking at the overall health of the hive this is gonna be the first time I've used my smoker this colony was a little bit grumpy the other day when uh, I killed the queen, so um, we'll, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of smoke uh, just to calm them down. What smoke does, and I'll just give them a couple of puffs in there. What smoke does is um, by nature, bees will think that perhaps there's a forest fire. And so they're gonna go in and they're going to uh, start gorging on honey and get a lot calmer. So let's we'll give them a little smoke. Um, I've waited here a little bit later so that um, the bees will, uh, most of the foragers will be out. A lot of times the, uh, the bees are more aggressive are the foragers. So you see I'm, I'm all geared up. Um, I did get stung the other day by a bee from this hive. So we'll see what happens. Go ahead and take the lid off. You see there are some bees here. Um, this colony has done what I asked them to do really and they've been out foraging. Um, I did have some put some sugar on the top board and I don't know if you can hear but they're they're sounding pretty pretty excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get a little smoke here. We should drive the bees down in a little bit. Go ahead and pull the inner cover off. Uh, bees are doing what they need to. They're starting to make some comb around. Um, these bees are a little more excited, a little more interested in what's going on, a little more aggressive. Um, okay, so I'm going to be looking for cleaning cups, which should be higher up. Um, they've still got feed in there. They're doing well there. This frame out just so I have a little more room. Pull this up, see. Okay, they're working on this, they're drawing some comb between. My last video stopped um, right when I was uh, getting into the hive, but I, I can report that I did um, find four queen cups or emergency cells, so they are growing a queen. And so um, doing some of the math, um, probably within about 13 days from now, 10 to 13 days, I will have a, a new queen, a new virgin queen, and then it'll take her about a week to 10 days to um, get mated and go out and do um, what she needs to do and come back in and start laying. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and stay out of that west hive for about 
about a month from now, I'll have to uh, make some notes in my book to take care of that. Um, I do have a notebook that I'm keeping um, hide inspection records in. That's if I remember to write it all down. But since we're here and I'm all geared up and I've got a pretty decent smoke going, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick inspection on my east hive. This is the hive that has the uh, package bees in them. So I'm just going to get a little smoke up. Um, I've not smoked these bees yet, but we're going to go ahead and um, get them used to it. I think for the most part, bees are going to be pretty gentle most of the time, but then occasionally they'll get grumpy. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this, this hive as well. Okay, so a few bees around making some comb up on, onto the uh, lid. It's okay, there's some, I see them making some burr comb. I'll probably go ahead and scrape that off. Go ahead and give them a little bit of a my smoke is just about out. Okay, they're really working the feeder well, that's good. Might be about out of fuel in here. We'll give them a little bit there and I think I'll go ahead and work from this side over here I'm gonna go ahead right now and scrape this comb off Carla wants a little beeswax so I'll go one of the challenges when you when you um, use your phone to do your filming is uh, someone calls, then the camera shuts off. Okay, so this is one of the outside frames. They're not really working it yet, but I'll just move that down to there. You ought to be kind of looking for the queen and looking for girl mites. Okay, they're starting to build some comb here. More comb and pollen. Okay, put this back down in here. We're starting to stick a little of this together. Okay, so now we might be. Now they're capping some brood here, and that's good to see. Good brood pattern actually starting to get some emergent brood. So that's good. Just going to make a quick glance for the queen. You can see we're starting to get a pretty decent looking brood pattern here. And where there's holes in the middle, that's where uh, babies have hatched out. So I don't really see the queen on this frame. Look on this side. Again, more cap brood, brood that is hatching. Good comb build out. And put this back down in. See lots of bees with pollen on them coming in. See the queen on this frame. Okay, lots of good brood, lots of good hatch. The number of bees in this hive have increased a lot.
Now we're looking at pollen and honey, bee bread, and building out more comb. All right, we're going to call this good. And go ahead and buckle this hive up. They've still got adequate feed in the frame feeder. And squishing bees. Spring back in. Again, that line is squishing bees. Just looking down in, I can see adequate pollen coming in, so that's good. Okay, one of the things I did get that I hadn't had before is a bee brush. Just a soft brush. Kind of get the bees off the edge of things. I don't really want to squish any if I can help it. And we've squished a few bees around. Come down in there, sis. Okay. So there we go, that was a pretty simple and straightforward um, hive inspection. Everything looks really good in this hive. Really pleased the number of bees are really going well. We're starting to see um, brood that's hatching out. So we've got some baby bees and um, these bees are getting a lot more active. So an observation, this package bees, I'm not sure where the bees came from, but there are three pounds, it's about 10,000 bees. And um, they've been in here for three weeks now and they're doing really well. Um, the other hive that I have, um, I just placed the nucleus colony in, so about the same number of bees, maybe a few more, maybe a few less, where I squashed the queen, but they're building a new queen. But those bees, um, they're a little more um, aggressive foragers and are going out and using parts of our yard that maybe these package bees hadn't. Uh, I hadn't seen bees on the north side of our house from the time I put these bees in. Um, but since I put the nucleus colony in, we've been seeing bees on the north side of the house um, in the bird bath and I'm doing real well. So I'm excited about the way things are going. That's it for today.